Hi, Chanel from App Themes here and in this tutorial I'll cover the basic ClassyPress pricing and payment settings. ClassyPress is a modern classifieds app theme that allows your potential visitors to search by ad parameters. Furthermore, admin can monetize their site by offering ad packs, listing memberships and basic ad listings. After configuring the settings mentioned throughout this tutorial on your own ClassyPress site, you'll be ready to start charging potential customers to list their ads. Once you're in your WordPress dashboard and you have configured ClassyPress settings and emails, please see our other tutorial, you're ready to set up payment details. You'll need to click on the pricing menus under ClassyPress. The pricing menu is made up of three different tabs and is where you'll set up universal costs to list an ad on your site. Ensure the charge for a listing checkbox is marked if you intend on monetizing your site. In this next field, you'll need to enter in a universal featured price. This will be added to the base listing cost for users that want to have their ad featured on your website. Moving on to currency, just ensure the symbol is correct. By default, it will be the dollar symbol. The pricing model section outlines how you would like to charge customers. Leave it as price per category to offer both free and paid ads. Alternatively, you can choose to charge listers a percentage of their ad price or only charge for featured ads. We'll now move on to the second tab, Memberships. If you are going to offer memberships, ensure that the Enable Packs feature is marked. Configure the number of days prior to a membership ending that you would like to send out a reminder email. If you do not require customers to have a membership to post an ad, leave this as Not Required. Alternatively, choose between the other options. The last tab under pricing is price per category. Using the price per category feature, you can set a universal amount that someone must pay to list an ad in a specific category. For example, if someone wants to list their ad in the autos category, it will cost them 25 USD. You can then charge additional amounts to list in a subcategory. Now that I've covered the pricing menu under ClassyPress, We'll take a look at the Payments menu. The Payments menu is made up of four sub-menus, Orders, Ad Packs, Membership Packs and Settings. Firstly, we'll take a look at Orders. The Orders menu is where you can view all your ad orders. As you can see, they're listed all below. Clicking on the Order ID will reveal all the details about an individual order. We'll now take a look at the Ad Packs menu. Ad Packs allow you to offer deals to your potential customers. For example, you could offer the visibility of a customer's ad for 30 days for $5. Ensure you're using the fixed price per ad model to be able to offer ad packs. Your ad packs will be shown as an option to customers as a cost per listing. You can create a new ad pack by clicking the Add New button or edit an existing pack by hovering over the title and clicking Edit. By clicking Add New, you'll be taken to the Add New Pack page. Here you'll need to give your ad pack a name a short description, the price for the ad pack, and the duration of the ad pack. Creating ad packs and membership packs allow you to further monetize your ClassyPress site. We'll now take a look at membership packs. Membership packs allow you to offer subscriptions to your customers. Customers who sign up to a membership are able to post unlimited ads within a set time period. The default membership pack, 30 days publishing for only $2, is shown below. Someone buys this membership for $15, which gives them 30 days access. For each ad they post, they then have to pay $2. I'll now show you how you can create your own membership pack. You'd head to the Add New button, click on that, and this will bring you to the Add New Membership Pack page. I'll start by giving my membership pack a name, a description, so my customer can post unlimited ads for 20 days and each ad is only going to cost them $1 to post. For this example, my package type will be a static price, although you can read more about the other package types in our documentation page. The price for this membership pack will be $10 just for the member to be a part of this pack. The duration will be 20 days as I've mentioned in my description and the price modifier It'll be $1 for each ad that they wish to post. So then I'll go ahead and I can submit this. You can then link your membership page 
on your site's menu. For example, on this site, someone can purchase a membership pack, 30 days publishing for $2. The clauses of the membership are all outlined. For example, $2 per ad required to post, and it will be $15 just to be part of this membership, which will last 30 days. Then if someone wants to purchase that, they just click the Buy Now button. The last menu under Payments, is settings. I'll now click on that and I'll go through this. This menu is one of the most important and is where you'll need to configure the payment gateways that you'll be offering to your customers. So most people will just have bank transfer and PayPal. In the general, ensure that the currency, identifier and position are correct. Apply tax if needed and enable the gateways that you wish to offer by marking the checkbox. After you have configured this tab, ensure you save your changes and then move on to configuring each of the payment gateways that you have enabled. So for bank transfer, you can configure the message here that you'd like to show. For PayPal, you'll need to add a few more details such as your PayPal email address, enable PDT and IPN if needed. Also note that you can have your ClassyPress site in sandbox mode for testing purposes. That brings me to the end of this tutorial on all payment related settings for ClassyPress. You'll now be able to start monetizing your site. If you're still unsure after watching this tutorial, we have a lot of written documentation on our website.